Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model an organic chair like this. Okay. So to create this chair, uh, what I was looking for is an organic chair. So search for an organic chair and you will get mostly these images. Okay. So we are going to look at uh, the image for reference and the good thing about uh, this chair is there are a lot of different angles to look at for us to understand how it looks from different sides for example in this picture you can get the side view of it so it explains how the legs are the front view how the legs are how the armrest is you can see there's an incline in the back there's an incline in the seat you can get a nice look at what needs to be done, how to model the chair. Okay, there's another side view. So in 3ds Max, what we will do is, uh, I'll reset everything. Okay, so we'll start with a box. Okay, and a cube. Edged faces will be on modify panel and we will increase these two one by one by one okay so I'm going to convert it to editable poly and select the top four delete them select the front four delete them okay select, select these two also and delete them so this is what we are left with Uh, these faces are black so what we can do is find a standard material and we can make it white then we make it two-sided here so we can see both the sides now what we're going to do is uh, create the hole for the chair first so we're going to inset this area first and then delete it okay then we are going to select the edge option or this control this and I'm going to use the shift key and drag it out to extrude that part Okay, now our chair is going to be symmetrical, so I can delete the left half and delete it so I don't have to repeat what I do on one side to the other side. Okay, and now we are going to do some sculpting. So this one comes out, these two will be scaled inside. Okay, so to get the roundness, this thing is going to come in the front. This thing again will be going close and down to get that curve. This is going to go down. Okay, so I'll stop there and we will add. Symmetry modifier. So that you get the other side. Okay. So I will shift copy this as a reference and add mesh smooth with two iterations. So you can see how the chair looks. Okay, now we will add a shell modifier. Okay, 
okay that gives thickness to our chair and the thickness can be big okay so that is mostly the chair you can see we got everything the thickness may look a little bit more depends on what you're making so this one looks quite thick to me so it has this curve this is roundness does it look right okay so this is quite squarish on top so th these are minor things that need to be worked on that you can model it as per your liking okay so that fixes that okay you can see some are tall some are not uh, now we were talking about this bend and this bend so let us work on that that is one thing we need to do the other thing is the chair surface is kind of flat and ours is not so what we will do is select the edge select these edges we will connect it and we will not move it because once you connect it it becomes straight so we will just leave it there all right now we'll go to vertex and we will select the back or from the top we'll select all these vertices which represent the back and rotate it to get that back part then we will select all the bottom ones and rotate it this way to get that back part And generally there is uh, a bend in the middle of the chair too. Okay. So the chair can, you can sit nicely in there. So we got that bend there. Okay. The front part comes out more so you can bring that out So that's that's basically it for the chair okay, and then very simply you're able to create a organic looking chair so now we will move on to add a cone for the legs so we'll work on the smooth shaded version to create the legs All right. so before we do that we need to see what is the overall size of our chair here okay. 
so looks like we got 111 centimeters by 111 by 111 centimeter chair seems like a good size minus 50 so our leg is half a meter long centimeters one centimeter okay so the number of sides we will have is only four number of height segments can be three and we will add one cap segment because we're going to add a mesh smooth and I'm going to show you what the cap segment does look there nothing here and then we will add some geometry so when we add the mesh smooth we get what we want so we will now convert this to editable poly we we'll select the edge and select this edge and connect okay and then we need to move it up say around then we do the same thing at the bottom connect negative 80 okay so you get one line there and what that will do is we will add use nums subdivision and iterations to one so you get a nice soft bend there and then you get a nice soft bend there at the bottom so that will be our leg and to make sure that nothing comes above the chair so we'll move it down all right that's good and then I'm going to create a copy let's make it a copy select Just select here both the legs and shift copy them in the back so we get the four legs so what we are going to do is select one leg go to attach and we will attach all the four legs so it becomes one object okay and then we are going to add an ff fft 2 by 2 by 2 modifier select the control points and remember we talked about the legs being less bent in the front and more bent in the back okay so this way is more this is less and they're coming out from here so you can simply move that part so I selected this and moved it down and from the front we can scale this out And that completes our chair can hide the edged faces and hide the grid to see how the chair looks okay that gives us this organic chair in 10 minutes thank you very much